Hey y'all, and welcome back to City Country Barbecue. Today we are doing beef jerky. It is an eight pound eye of round in two separate ways. One's gonna be a more traditional steak kind of sauce. The other one's gonna be a nice, sticky, sweet spicing. We'll see y'all soon. This first batch is three simple ingredients. We have a beautiful, robust ribeye marinade from the butcher's block in Woodstock, Georgia, and then just your everyday Worcestershire sauce or that, you know, W Worcestershire sauce. So we're gonna take these two sauces and then garlic and then mix them all together real quick. A whole bottle of your favorite marinade you would use for steaks. Next, we're gonna go with the Worcestershire sauce, pop that top off. We don't need that dripper. We're gonna get a whole bunch of that yummy, awesome flavor. Store-bought garlic. Dump in a pretty good amount. I want this to be a garlicky steak style original marinade for the beef jerky. So we have our first marinade, traditional style jerky marinade, already mixed up. Gonna take half of my eight pound eye of round, four pounds. So you want these slices eighth inch thick, a quarter inch thick, so it's not gonna get tough and take a long time for it to dehydrate on the smoker. Throw these in a one gallon Ziploc bag. Kind of mix it up here and spread it out. You take that pre-mixed marinade you are gonna use. You're gonna pour in the whole bag. Get everything all mixed up. You're gonna close your bag up. Then once everything's in that bag, you wanna separate that meat from where it's all sliced up so that you get every inch of the marinade on every inch of the meat. Let's shake it up. Then you throw that bag in the fridge for four hours or overnight. Now it's time for that hot mix. We're gonna take your favorite steak marinade you wanna use or meat marinade made for beef. I have some red clay hot honey. This one's gonna be a little bit spicier of a batch, but I also want it kind of sweet. Mix about nine tablespoons in there. Then we're gonna get us some Carolina Reaper Flakes. Actual from the Pepper Palace Lava Flakes. They're the Carolina Reaper. This batch is gonna be kind of spicy. And then we mix. And just like before, put the meat in the bag, put the sauce in the bag, mix it up, shake it up, throw it in the fridge. All right, y'all. So with a little bit of movie magic, we are back on day two of the jerky. The meat has been in the bag, marinating overnight. So you always want it to marinate at least four hours, preferably overnight or two days. All depends on how much flavor you want in your jerky. So you take the meat out of the fridge and then you're gonna throw it in a strainer to get all the extra moisture off. We've already done that process on the first batch, so that's what we're gonna do now, is we take it from the strainer. You want as much moisture off of your jerky as possible. The more moisture you have on it, the longer it's gonna take, and then it could make it wet or tacky or just not cook properly. So we have to make sure to get it nice and dry. We're gonna put it on the cutting board with plenty of paper towels, and you want them to be single file, not overlapping, nice and flat. We're gonna lay all these out of here, and I'll come back to you in a minute. And the jerky's gonna go on the smoker. You want it as low set as possible. 165, 175, 185, somewhere in that range. The higher the heat you cook it, the faster it's gonna cook. We are not making steaks, we're not making burgers. It needs to be as low and as slow as possible so that the jerky doesn't get tough. You want it to be as just yummy, smoky awesomeness as possible, but you gotta do it low and slow. So now that everything's all patted dry, we're gonna put these bad boys on the smoker and I'll see you here on the next batch. Now it's time for that sweet and spicy batch. Just like before, so you wanna get your meat, put it on the paper towels, you wanna pat it dry. Once again, All right, time for the sweet and spicy batch to go on the smoker. Now the trick to perfect jerky is you want even cuts. You want an eighth to a quarter of an inch thick and you want every piece to be a uniform thickness and size because if it's not, then some pieces will cook faster than others. So now like before, we put them on the smoker. Half one flavor, half the other flavor. My wife isn't really too keen into spicy. I make sure not to get them mixed up so that I don't light her on fire. So the trick for doing jerky on any kind of smoker or dehydrator or in the oven is that you don't want the pieces to overlap. You want the smoke to hit every single edge of the meat. So if the pieces are folded over each other, 
Something's not going to be cooked right. Ones are all spread out so that nothing's touching. Everybody's happy. So now that everything's all lined up, this is going to go nice and slow all the way until it's the consistency you want. It's completely up to you. Let's let this go. Hey y'all, and we are back. So the jerky is done. It's been on the smoker for probably four hours now. Let me turn the Traeger into shutdown mode. Just hold the button, it turns itself off. Oh, because we bougie. Take off your meat, throw it on your cutting board, go inside, let it cool. I'll see y'all here in a minute. Woo -wee! That jerky boy, that hot's hot, but it's finally done. So we have eight pounds of eye of round, thinly sliced to a quarter of an inch thick. Pre-marinade overnight for at least four hours, up to overnight, even two, three days if you really want all that flavor really all the way through it. But all this fresh jerky's off the smoker. Let's give this bad boy a try. Mm. Once again, super easy. I'm telling you, you go, you go to your local Kroger, Publix, Huawei, wherever you are in the world. Go to your store, go to your butcher's market. Get you an eye of round, cut it against the grain, marinate it overnight, smoke it at 165 to 175 until it's the texture you want. I like them just dry enough so that it's shelf stable and has the proper bite that I want. But until next time, enjoy your jerky, enjoy your backyard barbecue, and from City Country Barbecue, from my family to yours, have fun, and I'll see you on the next one. All right, everybody, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Every little bit helps. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on the next one.